Welcome back everyone to the Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer Challenge with me, Unlawful Exile, and Mrs. Exile. Hi! Hi! I'm not quite sure why you said that like a robot. Because <laughs> I'm a robot. Okay. I'm a anyway. Pokemon playing robot. Uh huh, sure you are. <laughs> anyway! Here we're just talking to our dad and trying to get Wally a Pokemon. I'll spoil it now, I don't like Wally. Why is that spoiling it? Well, I just don't like Wally. Later on, he gets a bit like, pissy and like crying and stuff I like that. I don't like this Wally. I like Rick Wally, the Disney character. Yeah, well, he's a robot. But he's a cute robot. Yeah, so. No. You, got, you got to go with Wally to help catch his first Pokemon into the grass or some crap. Yeah, I don't get why. You've already caught Pokemon at this point. It's one of those like, this is how you catch a Pokemon, but you've seriously already done it by now. So I don't know why they put it in this game yeah. at this point. It's a bit late to explain how to catch Pokemon since you are in the third town. Yeah. And you've been through about... And I've already got three of them! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he has a zigzag going. See, the gym leader, your dad, this brilliant gym leader, gave Wally a level 7 zigzag goon. You're only in the first town. But why would the gym leader give... No, but you don't battle your dad for ages as a gym leader. Yeah, I know, but... No, it might be his pet, for God's sake. Like, your dad's the... It's like his dog or something. His dog. And takes it out in casual strolls. I don't know. Takes like a raccoon. I think it's like it had to be a dog. <laughs> it was like his dog. Fine, it's his pet raccoon that he takes on <laughs> casual strolls around his village, okay? He takes it to the Pokemon Center <laughs> and he takes it to the Mart. Just for the record, I like the Pokemon he's trying to catch. Yeah, it's quite cool to play with. Although, because we've done the randomizer, we'll probably never come across one, and it's actually quite common. It's quite common in this part, anyway. Yeah. Like, you find it on this route, and it is quite, it's alright, it's not too difficult to find, it's just a shame we won't find it. Yeah, well, we might do, but it'll be like a ridiculous stage of game. I also have a little confession to make, it may have edited, it might have altered your game. Because, uh, before doing the recording. Pro tip for, you, for anyone wanting to do a series like this, before doing each recording, if you're doing two people's recordings, you have to do the random generator each time. So you fucked up my otherwise, game. Otherwise you, <laughs> no, otherwise you, otherwise say, because I recorded before you, and I didn't do the random generate before yours, chances are we may have found the same wild Pokemon. So That's all it is. Okay. May have found the same wild Pokemon in like the same area. This is him secretly destroying my gameplay. But if, <laughs> but if you're just recording just you, then don't worry about it. Don't have to run. Don't have to generate each time. And I just talked right over us meeting Scott, who plays a bigger part later on. I'm more interested about what Pokemon we're gonna find. Well, you soon find that because I find my next one pretty soon. Whatever. I'm still shopping. Okay. <laughs> Actually, no, wait, I decided to... I decided to face this trainer first. Mm. Why is he shopping? What is he buying? Pokeballs. How many do you have now? Well, I got another two, so I think I, I think that made six. I Just because, you know, I'm not like you and waste all my yeah, Pokeballs. Yeah, I had none. <laughs> I had none. I was good this time, though. I didn't buy any. I didn't waste my money. See, look, now you're meeting Scott. Dugong. Yep, Dugong versus Magikarp. Dewey. Slimy. Dewey. The level 9 magic cart who takes a headbutt like a champion. See how much damage that headbutt he's does. He's not level to. 9, he's level 7. No, magic cart's level 9. Oh. Look at look how much damage my headbutt does to him. Nothing. How does a magic He is a magic carp of steel. He is a magic carp of steel. Oh, you found your Pokemon. Uh, what did you find first? You found a dust skull. I did. I would love to have a dust skull. I don't know, I wasn't overly excited about him, but. But Dusk He's alright, he's alright. Duskull becomes Dusclops. And Dusclops is awesome. I don't know how late it takes to evolve, I think it's late forties. I want one. See? Duskull is the Pokemon I started with in the first failed recording I'd done. Because you have to first face a Zigzagoon and Nightshade doesn't affect it. Yeah. It's like gonna be look, that's what I found. <gasps> oh ghastly! Yeah. Have you Oh, did you catch it? Just watch. <gasps> I was so scared. Oh. I, I was so scared I was gonna kill it. I just threw a pokeball straight away. I want a ghastly just so I can get Gengar. I threw a, I threw a pokeball straight away. What the hell? And I caught it. 
You've got a ghastly. I got a ghastly. I actually <laughs> hate you. I got a ghastly. Dugong and a ghastly. What the hell did you call it? Oh yeah, you get to see what I call it now. It's applicable. I don't know what I'd call it actually. It's definitely applicable. I knew exactly what I was going to call it as soon as I saw it. Obviously lowercase, I'm not like you shouting names. <laughs> Cat! Cat! <laughs> Shelly! Look what? what I called it. Gassy. Gassy. Slimy and gassy. <laughs> Bitey, slimy and gassy. You're just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but he's made of gas. Look at him. He's made of gas. Whatever. I Bitey. Well, oh, I've got the dust skull. Oh, you called it the dust skull. Wait, till you see what I've called him. What it makes call... me laugh whenever I see it. What did you call dust skull? <laughs> <coughs> it's just whenever I come out, it's like, wait, till you. <laughs> what did you call dust skull? C R E E. What the hell did you call it? You called it creep. No, creeper. Creeper. You called it a creeper. It's like go creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called creeper? Because he's creepy looking. Huh. Not he's like he's gonna blow up my house or anything. No, it's but just creepy looking. It's in just general. A bit creepy looking. I was gonna go with creep, but I didn't quite like. <laughs> go creep. So look, you've caught up with me. We're in the same area now. Picking the berries. Which you won't replant. I replanted mine. Oh. No, mine's still in my backpack. I replanted mine so that they can so that they can make two berries when I come and get them later on. Look, nope, I'm not coming back. <laughs> you have to come back this way. Yeah, I can't bother to plant them. <laughs> you just didn't know. I did know. I, I didn't bother doing it in the other games either. I just took you, the berries and went. You just weren't a berry planter. Well, you know, it gives a bit of health back every now and then. Yeah, have berries. Now you're facing the magic carpet and I'm facing this ridiculously rich trainer. It gives you a stupid amount of money at this point in the game for beating her. You're going to be so much further ahead than I am. Bear in mind, at this point in the game, you start with $3,000. This woman, when you beat her, gives you nearly half of that. Yeah. That's so what you get these little rich bitches nowadays. With zigzagoons. Strolling around with their pets. Pet raccoons. Yeah. <laughs> their pet raccoons walking them on the casual strolls with Norman. Thinking they got a half nut raccoon and it's just getting... And then my bitey comes along and bites it. He's just getting flattened by a gold bat. Yeah, exactly. I was um, trying to supersonic it for ages. I must have used about five supersonics on it. It just didn't work. I hate that move. What supersonic? So, oh, I don't. If I have it, I get rid of it. If another one uses it, I just kill it. No. I absolutely hate supersonic. It's when you go through when you go through Mount Moon in the first game, and all you run into are flipping gold bats and zoo bats with supersonic. And it actually put me off the move. It makes me. It made me hate zoo bat and gold bat. How do you feel about? Confuse Ray then, because it does the same thing. I don't mind like Confuse Ray as much, I don't use it as much. But it does the same thing. Yeah, but My Garcia's gonna learn it. It's annoying, it's annoying, but I can deal with it better than, um, you know, that. My Garcia's gonna learn it. You're just constricting this. It's all I've got! You're constricting this poor magic cop, squeezing the life out of it with <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> Die, goldfish, die! Oh yeah, this woman <laughs> has a full restore, she used it on her zigzagoon. Yeah, I know. Well, she do it to yours as well. Yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was not happy. Zigzagoon is confused, but it still hit me. You'll see why I wasn't happy with it when we get there. I tell you what, for some reason, while I was doing my recording, I was so, so paranoid. I just had a horrible, ominous feeling that one of my Pokemon was going to faint slash die. I was, I was so, being so extra careful about it. Like you'll see throughout, I'm so extra careful about keeping them alive. Um, I'm being like overly just... Whatever. Smash and grab. <laughs> yeah.